Good day, and welcome to UMCC Medical Consultant Connectors, your trusted source for advanced medical knowledge. Today we're exploring the fascinating realm of the third stage of labor and its management in pregnancy and delivery. This stage is a pivotal moment in the birthing process and understanding it is fundamental for medical students and healthcare professionals. It's where the magic happens, where lives are changed, and where our expertise truly shines. Today, we delve into the intricacies of this crucial stage and the management techniques used to ensure the safety of both mother and child. The third stage of labor, often overlooked, is a critical phase that starts after the baby is born and ends when the placenta is delivered. This stage is an integral part of childbirth that requires keen attention. Let's dive in. The third stage of labor begins as soon as the baby takes its first breath and the umbilical cord is clamped and cut. Once this happens, the uterus starts to contract again to expel the placenta, the organ that has nourished your baby throughout pregnancy. Typically, this stage lasts between 5 to 30 minutes, but can sometimes extend up to an hour. It's a period of relief for the mother, but it's also when healthcare providers need to be vigilant. Why, you ask? Well, the third stage of labor is associated with potential complications. The most common is postpartum hemorrhage, excessive bleeding, following childbirth. This can happen if the uterus doesn't contract properly after the placenta is expelled or if any placental tissue is left behind. Other complications can include retained placenta, where all or part of the placenta remains in the uterus after delivery. This can lead to infection or heavy bleeding. Understanding these processes is fundamental to managing the stage effectively and ensuring both mother and child are safe and healthy. And remember, the end of the third stage marks the conclusion of childbirth, but the journey of parenthood is just beginning. Effective management of the third stage of labor involves a series of carefully coordinated interventions. This is the period from the birth of the baby until the complete delivery of the placenta, and it requires meticulous attention to ensure the well-being of both mother and child. One of the frontline techniques employed is active management. Now, this isn't just about passively waiting for the placenta to deliver. It involves a skilled healthcare professional providing controlled cord traction. Picture this as a gentle tug of war where the healthcare professional pulls the umbilical cord while applying counter pressure to the uterus. This aids in the safe and swift delivery of the placenta. Next up, we have uterine massage. This isn't your regular spa massage, mind you. This is a systematic kneading of the uterus through the abdomen done immediately after the placenta's delivery. It helps the uterus contract and decreases the risk of excessive bleeding. But the role of healthcare professionals doesn't end with these physical interventions. They are also responsible for close monitoring of the mother's vitals. This includes checking blood pressure, pulse, and assessing the amount of bleeding, among other things. The aim is to quickly identify any signs of complications and intervene promptly. These techniques play a pivotal role in preventing postpartum hemorrhage, one of the leading causes of maternal mortality worldwide. Pharmacological support is often necessary during the third stage of labor. Uterotonic drugs like oxytocin and misoprostol play a key role in this phase. Now you might be wondering, why are these drugs important? Well, they help in contracting the uterus and preventing excessive bleeding after the delivery of the baby. Imagine the uterus as a large muscle that has been stretched during pregnancy and birth. After delivery, it needs to contract back to its original size. This is where oxytocin comes in. It stimulates powerful contractions, helping the uterus shrink down and reduce blood loss. On the other hand, misoprostol is used when there's a risk of heavy bleeding. It also causes the uterus to contract and helps control postpartum hemorrhage, a leading cause of maternal mortality worldwide. Appropriate use of these drugs can significantly reduce the risk of complications and improve outcomes for the mother and child. As we conclude our exploration of the third stage of labor, it's clear that understanding and effectively managing this stage is crucial for the safety of both mother and child. We have delved into the complexities of this stage, the importance of sound management techniques in pregnancy and delivery, and the role of specific drugs. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it can save lives. Thank you for joining UMCC Medical Consultant Connectors today. If you found this video helpful, please share it with others who might benefit from this information. Together, we can improve health outcomes for mothers and babies everywhere.